So if you have a Kindle Scribe, I'm sure that you are very, very excited, just like I am for the new update that has come out. Some people have not got it over the air yet or downloaded to here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to actually do it on the Mac because the Mac is a little bit different and it is a little bit confusing, but I'm gonna go over just how to do that really quick. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit of the active canvas. I am by no means a, um, an expert on this. However, I just want to show you how you can update your Kindle Scribe 2022 for the Mac version. So on the Mac, it's a little bit different to get it on your Kindle. This is why I'm going to show you. It's not difficult at all, but I think there's definitely some confusion around it. So I do have my screen share up here on the screen. You will go to Google or Bing or whatever you use and just type in send to Kindle Mac. And then the first one that will come up will be send to Kindle Mac. All you're going to do is download send to Kindle to the Mac. You're going to find it in your finder. It is in my downloads. Send to Kindle. It's going to come up. It's going to bring up the installer. You're going to go guide through it. You're just going to install. From there, it's installing the scripts, and I'm going to skip forward just so you could show what you need to actually do from there. Okay, so after the package installs, you're gonna to have to put in your Amazon username and password, and then sometimes it'll do a two-factor, and then your computer is registered for Send to Kindle for the Mac. It's a little different than PC, that's why I'm going over it, and it's a little bit confusing. So from there, you will see an icon on your desktop saying Send to Kindle. So as I showed you, you're going to have it, the Send to Kindle app on the Mac now. You're going to go to Google, type in Kindle firmware update for the scribe. You're going to go to that particular section. And then before you start, you want to determine what you have. You have the Kindle scribe. It's only one. You go to download the software update. So you've downloaded the send a Kindle file manager. You have the bin file. You see them up on the screen here. You think you would just drag and drop the files. It's not necessarily going to work. So you do your open USB file manager. And after you open that, all you do is take the bin file and you just drag it in to the body of the of the window there. It's going to copy it into there. And after you get done just dragging and dropping as I showed you on the screen, you will more than likely have to just restart your Kindle. If you drag and drop it and press the disconnect button on your Kindle here, more than likely it's not going to do anything. So you think, that, oh man, I must have messed something up or whatever. That is not the case. You probably just need to go into the settings and then just restart it. And then as you can see here, the Kindle is installing the update. So after it gets done installing, I'm going to show you just the small differences and kind of go from there. There are a couple little new things for this, but I haven't went through all of them because I just updated this. I'm not an expert by any means. But if you look over here on the right hand side, they do have the handwritten note. And this next one down here is the active canvas. If you click here and then if you just touch Anywhere on the screen, it will put a note in between those lines. So if I'm just going to click here, and then I'm just going to put like notes. So there you have it. I showed you how to go through, how to update it on the Mac quickly, easily, and hopefully it makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like what I'm doing here, please leave my video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thank you so much. I will be doing some more Kindle Scribe content as well. And you all have a great rest of your day, rest of your year, and have a happy new year as well. Take care.